Our pace of living leaves us little time for leisure. Our program will give you a chance to experience the fascinating world of traveling, extreme adventures, hunting and fishing. Each week we will take you to the most beautiful places of Kazakhstan. Saving wildlife is a priority not only for the world community and individual countries, but should become a priority for individuals. Today there are many questions about saving rare and endangered species and Kazakhstan is not an exception. In our country, the following animals are protected by the government. Central Asian antelopes, Argali goats, goitered gazelles, onagers and many other wild animals. The issue of reviving the populations of such extinct species as the Caspian tiger is being raised. Kazakhstan has signed a number of agreements on protecting migrating species and the country has been trying to protect them for quite a long time. Scientific institutes, governmental and non-governmental organizations, as well as international funds, the media and the general public are involved in this work. Environment protection is an absolute necessity that is officially specified by the law. For example, there is the Convention for Protecting Migrating Animals that was signed in Bonn in 1979 and is known as the Bonn Convention, which has been in power since 1983. Another international agreement has been signed as part of the UN program for environment protection, which aims at saving wild animals and their natural habitats in a global scale. The main aim of the Bonn Convention is saving terrestrial and marine migrating animals, as well as protecting migrating birds across the area of their habitat and migration. The number of the Convention participants is constantly growing and today there are more than 100 countries from Africa, Central and Southern Americas, Europe, Oceania and Asia that joined the Convention. Kazakhstan, rich in wildlife, is also among the countries participating in the Convention. In our country, the program is aimed to save such migrating animals as the saiga, the Bactrian deer and the Argali goat. Experts say that the greatest threat for Kazakhstan's wildlife is the decrease of the area of the habitat of local migrating species as well as farmers occupying the areas for their livestock grazing and humans direct slaughtering the animals by poaching. Today, it is more important than ever before to develop game reserves as a system of controlling wildlife resources. Game reserves will meet modern requirements of protection and reproduction of wild animals when they learn to be economically sustainable. For this, game reserves need to be adequately supported by the government. In every normative act, which concerns the hunting of wild animals, there are problems and problems. In every standard act that relates to the game reserve, there are questions and problems that impede the development of the game reserve. Therefore. As they have been building up for several years, they need to be sorted out. That is, we have to constantly correct and amend the acts and legal amendments. We need to actively participate too, in order to develop the game reserve into a viable project that will start bringing money. This business should become attractive. We need to build a scheme where the game reserve becomes profitable for everyone involved. Оно должно примерно выйти на уровень сельскохозяйства на фермеры, чтобы туда никто не влазил. А само охотничье хозяйство, которое охота и разведение животных. Game reserves should be developed into the farming industry level, hunting and breeding animals in the wild. These wild animals need special care and approach, and the reserve keeper should be treated like a farmer who breeds animals like a farmer. I compare a game reserve keeper to a farmer, like farmers who are given a plot of land where they can breed animals and enjoy the result, or where they grow wheat and then enjoy their yield, game reserve keepers should also see and enjoy the outcome of their labor. If they breed animals, and if they do it well, so that the number of wild animals increases, they should be given all kinds of support and incentives. 
труда. Он разводит, допустим, животных. Если он это добросовестно делает, численность животных у него растет, ему должны быть всякие преференции и должна быть поддержка. For the recovering of rare species, poaching should be eradicated, and the food management of pastures is required, and they need developing. We have interviewed 77 experts in the area of protecting and breeding wild animals. They are both governmental and non-governmental organizations. We wanted to find out in what state these species are at the moment and what is being done to save and increase their number and what problems these organizations are facing. The evaluation took place in 10 countries including Central Asia and Kazakhstan. A big problem for migrating animals are man-made barriers at the borders between the states, building railways as well as other constructions. Для того, чтобы эти проблемы решались, нужен комплексный подход. То есть здесь We need a complex approach to resolve these problems. The measures should be directed to protecting from poachers. Also, there should be requirements for wildlife resource management. Apart from that, education work should improve. The organizations should carry out monitoring of the populations of the species that inhabit the areas, and research should be conducted as well. Sergei Sklarenko, a doctorate-level researcher, a director of applied biology, told us about the problems of scientific monitoring of the population of migrating species. Rare animals are the government's priority, and for accurate census and evaluation of this property, a specified state authority is required. A representative of the leading Kazakhstani outfitter company, Prohunt, Maxim Levitin, cited some of the principles of the Resolution Working Group for saving our galas that were adopted in 2012. He says, in debates between preservationists with their formula nature minus local residents and conservationists with their principles who are followers of rational use of natural resources for the benefits of local communities, huntsmen practitioners seem to win. They proved that people are beginning to appreciate and take care of the national resources that bring concrete profits. This scheme may be explained by the example of Germany's game reserves. Every year they breed one million roe deers and the same number of boars, not to mention other wild species for hunting. Hunters pay good money to hunt them. This money is kept and used by specially trained staff who carry out protection and reproduction of the wild species at a highly professional level. Local residents, when they see that they get incomes from this practice, stop poaching. Recently, representatives of the Federal Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development of Germany and the Department of Wildlife and Hunt at the State Agency for Protecting the Environment of the Republic of Kyrgyzstan have come together in Bishkek to discuss positive experience from the leading experts from Pakistan, Afghanistan, Germany, Russia, Tajikistan, Kazakhstan and other states. They discussed the action plan for saving Argala goats. In Pakistan, the project for saving and reproducing the Marko goat in Torugat has had full awareness, which thanks to rational and just distribution of incomes from trophy hunting has been conducive to increasing the number of these species. During 15 years, their number rose from a few dozens to 3,000 species. In many countries, communities of trophy hunters are the only institutions for monetization of wildlife resources. High prices for permissions to hunt certain species that are hundreds of times higher than the cost of the animal on the country's market are the most effective form of financing the environment protection. In Almaty, the representatives of the Department of Forest and Game Reserve Management expressed their opinions. The main goal is to protect and reproduce wild species. They are rare and endangered animals, such as saiga, four subspecies of them, goitered gazelles, onager goats and Bactrian deers. The enterprise has three affiliates across Kazakhstan. Each of them is responsible for carrying out their duties in their regions. Also, the organization conducts the census and monitoring for the state program of saving wildlife. 
Currently, there is work on increasing the number of saigas. These are Artiodactyla mammals from the subfamily of Antilopnae. In 2002, these animals were classified as critically endangered species by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Recently, we have observed a slow but steady increase in the number of saigas in the country. This is a good development. The number of saigas has increased significantly in the Betpaktala region. There is a considerable progress. The saigas have been noticed migrating to the territory of the Russian Federation. Our committee, in partnership with the Russian Nature Protection Authorities, organized the safe stay of these animals in Russia and they are migrating back to Kazakhstan. On the Kazakh territory, the natural habitats of the Saiga are monitored by researchers. Во многих странах, и в том числе и в Советском Союзе, у нас при Советском Союзе использовался животный мир, дикий животный мир. Given the right approach, in many countries the practice of using nature's resources for trophy hunting without causing a damage to the number of species brings considerable incomes to the government. A good example is managing the Saiga trophy hunt. These animals are in the Red Book of Rare Species, but at the same time there's a great interest among international trophy hunters in hunting them. Therefore, Kazakhstan, along with other Central Asian countries, is becoming a popular destination for trophy hunters from different countries. Partially, this boom is explained by the country's 70 years of complete isolation. Он сейчас представляет определенный интерес, так как, скажем, 70 лет полного, полной изоляции, да, они дали какой-то свой сейчас для нас положительный эффект. The area of hunting territories accounts for 234 million hectares, of which 117 million are attached to game reserves and national parks. 23 million hectares is a thoroughly protected area. Most expenses are covered by game reserve keepers. There are 660 registered game reserves in the country where 6,000 huntsmen and hunting experts work. It makes sense to create favorable conditions for the developing of these game reserves as a profitable cluster of the economy. I don't say that many species are super critical state. For example, the Argali goat. We have five subspecies of them, and their number is quite stable, so they can be hunted with no loss for their population. Usually they are old male goats that are not in their reproductive age anymore. If not hunted, they may die in a year or two on their own, or may be killed by predators. This category of trophy animals brings most revenue and dividends in many countries. Именно вот эта категория могла и во многих странах приносит очень большие дивиденды, доходы. The income should go to protecting wild animals, but along with protection it is necessary to do educating work and inform local residents and pay attention to the issues of ecological education as well as raise the awareness of the good potential of wildlife among local citizens.